Okay, I'm going to show you how to do an external water top off mod for your Hovabator incubator. And it's a real shame they didn't do this from the factory because it's so easy to do. But anyway, here goes. So the first thing that you need to do is arrange the water tray properly. Now, in the directions it tells you to set it up so that the larger uh, spaces for adding water are on the right side. And what you need to do is turn it this way so that they're on the front left. And what this allows you to do is simply wait till the ink you turn tray is in the forward position and then you have access to all four of the spaces for adding water. Otherwise they're over here and you can't really put an egg on this one otherwise you have a no access to it without moving eggs. That's really inconvenient. So put it there. The second thing you're going to have to do is you're gonna to have to drill a hole. Now, since these all ship from the manufacturer, all you really need to do is ask them to include an extra cap, like the one for the vent hole. And um, I happen to have some of my own, different sizes, and they're blue. So since I kind of messed the hole up on my first one here, I used the larger one. But on this one, it's the same size as the one that was included. So it will totally work. And um, so as far as drilling the hole, you're going to need two things. You're going to need a half inch spade bit or a smaller quarter to th uh, three eighths or whatever would work, but half inch is as big as you can go. And you're going to need a five sixteenths inch drill bit. And so the way this is set up is that there's a plastic, the plastic uh, tray for the window. There's two layers and the inside layer is there. So what you're going to have to do is actually drill with your spade bit from the inside so that you don't push it out when you're drilling from the outside. You just put this thing right in the, uh, the upper corner, the point, and you start drilling so that you drill about half of the corner out and halfway on the styrofoam. And you go most of the way through. You go through until the point just starts to, to, uh, to break through the other side and you stop. And then you turn it over. And by the way, don't do this um, over, don't do this over the, the incubator or you'll get styrofoam debris all over inside. Do it on a table or something. Okay, so you flip it over and then you use your 5 16th drill bit and you, you just go in that hole that you already started and you go through. Simple as that. You want to make a nice clean hole when you go through the other side like that. And then this uh, plug fits perfectly. So the next thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a large syringe. This is a 100 milliliter cath tip syringe, catheter tip syringe. It's like a medical syringe with a thumb loop, holds over three ounces and um, has a large tip for putting a tubing on. And now um, you can go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and get this kind of tubing. And what this actually is, is it's a toilet, it's a toilet uh, tubing. And it has like a bulbous end on one side. And this is a quarter inch uh, inner diameter. It's just meant for connecting a toilet to the, the ground, the, like the, the water inlet. It's, it's a, made of a stiff nylon type material. And it comes in a two foot length. So you're going to cut the bulbous end off and then you're going to cut the remaining part in half so they're about just about a foot each and you're going to take one and you're going to bend it slightly like that and the other one is going to be straight and what this allows you to do is simply stick it on the end of your syringe like so and then the straight one you're going to use to fill chambers one and two. You just stick it in, fill your chambers. Of course, that my, my uh, ink you turn is all the way forward. You would wait till it was back. You're just going to stick it in. You can access chambers one and two like that. And then to access chambers three and four, you're going to use the bent one and it will, as you can see, it will reach, uh, get out of the light there. It'll reach quite a bit further in 
uh, well, maybe you can't see that. But anyway, if you bend it properly, it'll reach chambers three and four. So that's all you have to do. Um, very easy to do. Um, the, the syringes are available on eBay for maybe $10 or something for two of them or three of them. And the uh, tubing is like two bucks at Lowe's or Home Depot. So that's all you have to do. I always use distilled water. And um, they, the chambers tend to, uh, you know, they tend to stay full two days to maybe three, depending on your ambient humidity. And uh, that's all you have to do. I like to run mine for, for turkeys. Um, I, I uh, incubate at 58% indicated. And then you can go, you know, more like 65 to 75 for hatching and uh, lower it half a degree. But anyway, there you go. Easy as that.